Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the number of one bits problem. It is a lead code easy and the number for this is 191. So in this problem we have to write a function that takes the binary representation of an unsigned integer and returns the number of one bit it has. So the goal is to count the number of one bits in a binary representation of an unsigned integer. And I am going to tell you such a trick that will make this problem very easy, super duper easy for you to solve and the solution will be very elegant. So the uh, to achieve this we can use a bit manipulation technique or hack to iteratively clear the rightmost set bit in a binary representation of a given integer. And how we are going to do? Let's see through an example. So first of all see let's see the input and the output. Suppose we have this as the input. So this uh, number contains three set bits, one, two, and this is the third one. So the output is three. Actually, this this input contains only one set bit, so output is one. So let's take an example. Suppose we have taken this example. So what we are going to do? We are going to iteratively clear the rightmost set bit in the binary representation. So suppose we have this binary representation initially so what we are going to do we have to clear rightmost set bit this is the rightmost set bit clear it we do it in zero then we have the next rightmost set bit we have to clear it and put zero in place cleared it and put zero in place and then we have this is the rightmost set bit so we have to clear it we have put zero then we have this is the rightmost set bit clear it put zero and then at last we will be having only one set bit we have to remove that also and the number becomes zero in this case so let's now come to how we are going to achieve this so we are going to achieve this using a formula this n and n minus one so what is this n and n minus one so whenever uh, we want to uh, clear the rightmost set bit we can use this formula n and n minus 1 the here and is the bitwise and and uh, how it works is that uh, we do the and of a number with by removing one from it so what it does the last one is if it is a uh, odd number the last one is simply cleared from the uh, binary representation otherwise if it is a even number the next one is actually borrowed and then uh, it works like that so this is how it is going to work and uh, this gives you the value after removing the rightmost set bit so we have to iteratively go for uh, uh, the input until it becomes zero and after it becomes zero we have to simply return the count we'll keep a count and we'll return the count and that will be our answer so you can see how it, it is happening so now let's come to the code section but before that remember to like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel so first of all we'll define a counter this is very simple solution like one of the simplest solution you are going to find on lead code so till the time n not equal to zero we have seen when n equal to 0 we need to stop n and equal to n minus 1 this will be inside bracket so I have used a shorthand operator you can use like you can write n equal to n and n minus 1 as well that doesn't make a difference and then simply set bit count plus plus we come out of this loop and return the set bit count simple let's try to run for the sample test cases some error there was a spelling mistake let's see passed for the sample test cases accepted good time complexity memory is fair but can be improved but 
<clears throat> since the space complexity is o of 1 so the interviewer might not expect something more than this and the time complexity is o of k where k is the number of set bits so i hope uh, you like the logic and you understood it thank you for watching the video have a nice day